welcome back to the Scottish Squirrel channel. We're a family of three and this month, well, in April, I was doing a no spend challenge. So I didn't go to the supermarket for an entire month. And so this is our first big shopping haul since April. Yeah, since April. So it's been more than a month. So yeah, I, this is my big shopping haul. So this is some of our fruits and veggies because we are uh, mainly a plant-based family we eat lots of like we eat mainly vegan food so but i just kind of call myself plant-based <laughs> just i don't know yeah so i will start over here i got two of these romaine lettuce hearts and yeah these have got the date 5th of May, so I've taken a, I've actually taken a photo and I'm going to send it to Asda because I'm not very happy with the date, <laughs> the 5th of May, because the celery that I got as well is for the 5th of May and as you can see it's not looking too good at the bottom and this lettuce isn't looking too good there either. So if I was in a shop I wouldn't really pick them up to buy them, so I was taking photos of them and it's not fruit and veg but... I took, I, I bought three of these wholemeal bread flowers and they all came like this with a big dent and the flower coming out. So these were taking photos too. The other one's in a bag because it's worse. So yeah, I will be taking photos and sending them off so that I'll get a refund from Asda. Because I'm not too happy about them. But everything else is fine. Apart from, I'll just jump over to this cauliflower. I mean, it's cute and all, but it's the most tiniest cauliflower ever. I, mean, I don't know if that's a really reference, but that's the cucumber and that's the cauliflower. And the cauliflower is the smallest cauliflower ever. And I'm not sure it will feed even one of us. <laughs> but on the plus side, the actual leaves are actually looking quite nice. <laughs> Probably because it's so young. So we'll be eating the leaves as well. So we get some more cauliflower out of it by that. And look at the size of our little red cabbage. It's very cute and all, and very small. So yeah, but never mind that. I also picked up two cucumbers, a bunch of spring onions, and these were a substitute. I ordered green beans, but they give they gave them sugar snap peas instead. And two of their mild beetroot baby spinach and baby kale salad just for lunches there's two of them and a little pack of the crunchy bean sprouts for our stir fry we're going to have tomorrow and this is the butternut squash monge to and chili stir fry i ordered two of these because we're going to have this for tea tomorrow and they substituted one of them for the edamame bean and broccoli stir fry, which is totally fine. <laughs> because they're veg. We're going to put them two together with the bean sprouts. And I'll probably use the sugar snap peas as well to have for our lunch. And, oh, I did order some little baby corn cobs, which don't seem to have come. I'm not sure where they are. I'll have to look at my receipt. And for greens... I got these packets of spring greens. It's the smallest little bag of spring greens ever. I thought I was buying the bigger bag. I didn't realise they were so small, but never mind. <laughs> from from the other spring greens that I bought previously, I thought they'd be bigger. I'm just moaning, aren't I? But they will be eaten. And some sliced curly kale. This is a bigger, this is a, a bigger bag. And another bag of sliced curly kale with the date the 5th of May. I've got a lot to eat before tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think I took a photo of them as well to show Asda as well. So that I, not because I wasn't too chuffed with the dates, but they'll be okay. And there's two bags of big bags of spinach because one was supposed to be spring greens, like in a big bag of spring greens, but they must have gave us some spinach instead as a substitution and I'd already ordered a bag of spinach so that's two bags of spinach but one will get washed and put and dried and put into the freezer because I love buying lots of greens 
this is actually not a lot of greens for me. <laughs> I always want a lot more greens because I wash them and then put them into a freezer bag and freeze them, put them in the freezer and then I put them in our, our me and the kids smoothies or add them to rice or pasta or any, any dish that can just chuck some greens in. So yeah, that's what I usually do. Oh, and there's some pak choy for our for our stir fry tomorrow. And there's two little packs of chives. I'm just going to wash these, dry them and put them in the freezer <coughs> and then just like snip or cut bits off because even when they're frozen, they're quite easy to cut. And then I could just use them for the freezer and they keep them fresh. And same with this flat leaf parsley. There's four bags of that. I think they're like 50 pence a bag, but I'm going to put them in the freezer and then just cut them direct from frozen and just to garnish and add to dishes because they keep some a lot fresher in the freezer. I know they go a wee bit will in a little bit, but if you're mixing it through cooked food as well, just to give it added flavor, then it's not so bad. And over here, we have two of the growing thymes. I did ask for the mint because I was wanting some mint in fresh packets like the coriander, but they didn't have them. So they sent me these thymes instead and they look quite pretty. I do like thyme. I just, I just was just wanting the mint, but I'll use these anyway. Some roast potatoes with thyme and things like that, or roast veggies with thyme. That just sounds quite nice. And two of the bags of carrots, just the Scottish carrots, two big bags. And over here, there's a bag of lemons and a bag of limes, some three grapefruits, my daughter's favorite, she loves grapefruits, and two broccolis, I'm going to have that with tofu, probably we'll have stir fry tomorrow. And then the next day, we're probably going to have tofu and broccoli and like a nice sauce that I do, it's so good. And there's two little, more little, two punnets of baby plum tomatoes and a packet of peppers. And isn't this red pepper the smallest pepper ever? But they're really tiny. And a packet of gala apples. And from the home bit, I'm not even finished the fruit and veg bit. There's some more over there, but we'll just, so these are perched here. Got some skewers because I wanted to make some sort of skewer satay thing i've got a recipe satay thing with tofu and stuff and i needed them to, to use and these are just black tea towels so over here on the worktop i've got two big bags of scottish maris maris piper potatoes 2.5 kilos in each bag and that says the 6th of may a couple of days but potatoes will be fine in the fridge for a while and two bags of the sweet potatoes because we're just eat potatoes and sweet potatoes like they're, they're going out of fashion we eat them all the time and two courgettes and two big punnets of onions and a little pack of egg I can't say that word a little packet of shallots <laughs> because I had a recipe that called for shallots so I thought well I'll just get shallots and see if it makes a difference from onions and two packs of jacket potatoes and I got these udon thick noodles I actually got them from the co-op they're not from Tesco's they're from the co-op I wanted a different brand but that's the only ones that they had in the co-op so I just got them for a stir fry and these chocolate waff sugar waffles my daughter wanted these chocolate sugar waffles she wanted these <laughs> So I got them to try because she hasn't tried them before. They're a new thing. And these waffles are from the co-op, not Asda. And they're £1.20 and I think they're just new. And I got this from the co-op too. Thai sweet chilli sauce. The, the Healthy Boy brand. Yeah, that was about £1.40. And I think that was all the fruit and veg bit. Yeah, that's all the, fruit, the fresh fruit and veg bit that I got from Asda and some cupboard bits got the strawberry flavored soya milks so there's 12 all together and they're about one pound fifty for six haven't tried these ones my son hasn't tried these ones he loves the chocolate oat ones though that has to do so he'll probably like them just some asda shades toilet paper and three packs of the desiccated coconut because i'm always baking 
and always using coconut for lots of things like energy balls and baking. I love, uh, I've got this great vegan coconut cake. It's so good. <laughs> and a jar of artichoke hearts. I've never even had these before, but I had a recipe. I think it was like a salad and it asked for artichoke hearts. I have to say that really slowly. <laughs> they asked for a jar of these, so. <laughs> I wish me luck. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be nice. And I got two tubs of this free from egg classic meal. These are only about £1.40, which is quite good. And a pack of frozen blueberries because we're always having smoothies. And yeah, so I got them and a pack of frozen raspberries. I make, I've been making a, a really, really good raspberry smoothie. Or it's a bit like those little milk, oh, what do you call them? Little milk probiotic and they come in little, little, really little small tubs or something that you just drink little small bottles. Yeah, it's like that. You use your raspberry, frozen raspberries, soya yogurt, a little bit of milk. Yeah. And I think there's sort of some raspberry syrup and we put that in and it blend it all up and it's just so good. And some smoothie tropical totally tropical we have this every time we go to asda it's just frozen mango papaya and pineapple for a, a very nice smoothie i make i put this the greens in there as well and that's really tasty um when we're in the co-op we spotted this new thing jord nordic oat drink oat organic and so i picked up four because they were reduced to a pound i think they're introductory prices and these are in the fridge section of the co-op and I just like it's like cardboard cardboard packaging and I think they just look so I just think they look great <laughs> my daughter liked the look of them too so I hope they're all going to be nice for a pound I hope so at the normal price it says they were going to be £1.85 so yeah that's why I picked up four and I hope that they will be good <laughs> and if they are I'll nip down and get some more I think the date on them is for May 30th of May. Yeah, but we'll, we'll have them finished before then. And freezer, free freeze, freezer things. <coughs> There's these Asda plant-based roasted veg and hummus pizza. I got two of these and we'll just have these for Saturday. For Saturday, the fridge, this plant-based Vitalite margarine and some Moroccan style spiced hummus because I'm going to make a creamy Moroccan stew, creamy Moroccan lentil stew and that would be thought that that looked like it'd be nice with it and my daughter got quite excited when she saw that because she loves hummus and two packs of their free from soft cheese and a garlic and herb soft cheese and some vegan smoky ham free slices, the corn ones, these were £1.50 and they're usually nearly two pounds. So I only bought them because they were 150, which was a good buy. Three packets of these grated mozzarella alternative. We just use these all the time. We just use these all the time. They melt really well and yeah, they're just really good. And for the price of one pound 40 for 200 grams grated, which is I think is pretty reasonable compared to other prices. And these, just these free from grated mature cheddar alternative. These are the same price. And I picked up some of these plant-based meat-free bacon style rashers. And my daughter got very excited to seeing these. because she, she was thinking about how she wanted some vegan bacon the other day and she didn't tell me, but we just got on, we're just on the same brainwave, I guess, <laughs> that I must've been psychic and I don't know, there you go and some of these meat-free sausages. These are the best meat-free sausages ever. If you've not, if you've never tried them, I highly recommend you try them. Even if you're, if you eat meat, lots of people are eating these <laughs> who eat meat and they're really very, very tasty, Re really good. So I've got two packs of them because I've got a couple of recipes that I'm going to try out. Two packs of their plain soya. And usually I always get it here at Asda because they're only a pound and a lot more than that in other places and four packs of their organic tofu because i've i don't know i just love tofu <laughs> and what's the date on them 
they're okay till the 9th of June. So they'll all be eaten before then and I've got quite a few recipes, one in tofu and every time we make tofu, I never seem to make enough. One block never seems to be enough for three people, even though it should be enough, but it always just tastes so nice, especially in a nice Asian inspired sauce. It's just, or baked till it's crispy, it's just so good. So I've got a few cupboard bits over here. This was a substitution. You don't want to see in my sink. This is a bake me crusty at home. You put it in the oven to get a crust and I ordered a tiger bread, but I've got this one instead, but that's fine. It'll still be taste nice. And got some of these vegan, vegan chalk macaroon, Mrs. Crimbles. These were down to one pound. So there's two packs there. I'm quite excited to try these. I think I had them a few years ago and I just love anything with chocolate macaroon. So I'm quite excited about that. And for the kids, I got these double chocolate cookies. These are on offer for two for 150 at the minute. And I did order the oatmeal and raisin ones, but it's the substituted white chocolate cookies. But I don't think they'll mind. I just like the idea of the oatmeal raisin ones instead, but never mind. And two jars of the white miso. This is down to a pound, which is really good buy. And I just use that in lots of different stuff. It's a brilliant flavouring to get a nice umami hit off of it. It's just so tasty. Um, some garlic stuffed olives, which are just the best olives ever. <laughs> if you haven't tried them, I'd highly recommend trying the garlic stuffed olives. If you love olives and garlic, you'll like them. And this is a new thing that I spotted, Horlicks Vegan Malty Goodness. Just add vegan milk of your choice and I'm excited about this because, yeah, <laughs> I'm just excited to have one of these later on in the evening because this is, I've never seen a vegan one before, I think it's just new. And you've got lots, they've got lots of the vitamins and stuff added to it, which is good. So hopefully my son will have one of them and an orange and mango juice it's my daughter's favorite that's that's a orange and mango but it's not finished that's just one to restock the cupboard and i got one of these frenchies yellow classic mustard just in case we have any let's say hot dogs but i make carrot hot dogs you make them with carrots i know it sounds silly and you probably <laughs> think it sounds ridiculous but carrot hot dogs are actually really tasty so I got some mustard and I, I just liked the little tub. I just thought it looked cute as well. <laughs> That's not the reason I bought it, but yeah. And one of this, oh my goodness, it's sriracha hot chili sauce because in a lot of recipes it asks for some sriracha, but this is actually rather scary. <laughs> hot chili sauce actually scares me. But I think that when you make them in the recipes, you only add a few drops. So I do like chili hot stuff, just not super hot, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And this is what I'm rather excited about, vegan condensed milk alternative in a carnation. It's just quite exciting. And I just, I have to be selective because and what I'm going to actually use it for and know that it will work because it's rather quite expensive. I think it's like 170 or something for a little jar. So I'm going to have to make sure that what I make is actually going to work. And I'm trying to think condensed, condensed milk. I think I could probably make a caramel shortcake or a millionaire shortcake. Oh my goodness, that's actually quite exciting <laughs> because that usually takes condensed milk. So yeah, I think I'm going to look up how to make a vegan caramel shortcake with condensed milk and that's rather exciting. If I do, then I will show you it on the video because that's quite exciting. And these were a substitution, zip seal food and freezer bags. I did order different ones that were just tie tie up ones, but they sent me these ones, so never mind. And some sushi rice and some sushi nori because I'm going to try making some sushi. There was avocados over there, but I don't think I showed you, but they were in amongst it all. I'll go over shortly and see. And for the spice bits, I got some cumin seeds, some peri peri seasoning, and some Raz El Hanout. That's obviously not how you pronounce it, but that's for the creamy Moroccan stew that I'm going to make. <laughs> um, not how you pronounce it, so I do apologise. And some chocolate hoops that my son particularly loves for breakfast. Though he 
mostly has them for supper though because sometimes he just doesn't have time in the morning because he's a lazy sod <laughs> who takes forever to get out of his bed for school and so I got this little package of saffron for a recipe that I can't remember what the recipe is but yeah it comes in this lovely little jar <laughs> this lovely little crystal like jar and yeah this was a couple of pounds for 0 0.6 grams <laughs> for, but for 0 0.6 grams I'm not sure if you can see it very well you does actually you do get quite a lot of threads of the saffron for that and I think you only use a pinch for each recipe so even though it's <laughs> it's still a small amount but I think it will last a while it will definitely for the price <laughs> It will last a while and I got my son's usual as the chocolate flavoured oat milk. He just absolutely loves these and I particularly I quite like them too. They're actually quite tasty. And got three packets. I think that's the old branding and this is the new branding of the free from milk chocolate orange buttons. They were quite quite interesting. These are vegan too and I've never tried using chocolate orange buttons so that sounds quite nice and the vegan white chocolate buttons and I usually get these as well because these are good for like deck putting on top of a cake that you make or, or sprinkle on icing or or even chop them up a little bit more and use them as as chocolate chips for baking so yeah and those bananas are <laughs> I didn't buy them bananas today those bananas we bought for a few days ago there's just two packs of the seven big fillers for the doggies for their treats and I'll show you the rest of my freezer stuff. So it's a little bit darker over here because the window's behind me now. So for the freezer bits, I've got some plant-based meat-free chicken bites. Never had these before. I think they're a bit like ch chicken popcorn bites or something. Never had these before, but they look nice. I thought the kids would let the kids try them. And some meat-free chicken nuggets. Not had these ones either, but it would be nice to just to have in the freezer for when for those busy days <laughs> when I don't want to cook from scratch and meat free meatballs which are always nice in a sauce uh, and, and some spaghetti for a quick meal and some veg plant based veggie fingers my son is particularly enjoying these in the wraps with ketchup and some grated vegan cheese and some like chopped cucumber and lettuce, things like that. And he takes them to school for his lunch. He particularly enjoys them. And some veggie burgers as well, which are really tasty. And there's just a bag of sliced mixed peppers and two big bags of cauliflower because I did have a, rest a few recipes that I wanted to try with the cauliflower. So I thought I'll get a fresh cauliflower. I didn't realize it was so small. <laughs> And I thought I'll get a couple of bags of frozen cauliflower just in case <laughs> and I'm, I'm pretty glad that I did so that that's a backup. Two packs of the frozen stir fry veg mix because the fresh stir fry mix doesn't last too long in the fridge so I only got two of them because we're going to have it tomorrow and put these in the freezer for another meal so we don't have to have it right away it'll stay fresher and when I nipped into the co-op I just grabbed another one of these vegan fishless scampi because we had it the other day and they were so so good <laughs> and and my daughter loved them and they're reduced to two pound at the minute so yeah <laughs> if you like if you like fish fishy things they tasted a bit like fish fingery type things and when they were in the oven they actually smelled like fish in the oven <laughs> but gladly they weren't fish and they were very tasty. And while I was in the co-op as well, I just had a quick look in the freezer a bit because sometimes they have um, reduced things. So they had two packs of the Basmati and Wild Rice Mix reduced to 50 pence. So I just thought, well, they only had two packs left. So I thought I'll just grab them and try them because it's just <laughs> sometimes it's handy just to have these because it'll take a few minutes in the microwave and I've never tried frozen rice before so it's a new thing so yeah just for a quick meal when we're extra busy oh and I forgot to show these scratch cook chopped coriander there are two packs of these and they just go in the freezer 
and these are the avocados there's just two avocados and i think i because i forgot to mention them so yeah that's all the stuff that i got there it is there oh just don't look at that tea towel <laughs> that's all the stuff yeah so i think it was quite so it was quite a lot of stuff that i got but i hadn't been shopping for a whole month so I just needed to restock up and things and this shop will last a few weeks anyway uh, quite a few weeks I didn't need any packets or tins or anything like that because we still got plenty of dried beans and dried lentils and rice and tins of beans and tins of everything <laughs> tins of stuff yeah and we still got lots and lots of uh, a big stock of all that stuff so we didn't need to buy any more of that stuff for now and yeah so that's that's just that was the as the haul so i hope you enjoyed that and if you did consider giving it a like and that would be amazing and hopefully i'll see you in my next video